What's good, kings and queens, Rain Nation, back with a video. This is just a quick tutorial on how to edit tattoos the easiest way. I already have a tutorial for this one a couple of years ago, but I've found a way, an easier one. Look at my player right here. Colored tattoos all over his body right here. Even the left legs, I have tattoos right there. So it's just an easy pace on paint.net so we're not gonna use GIMP anymore we'll use paint.net of course just download it on Google and download the DDS or dot DDS plugin so that you can edit this kinds of um, tattoos or chest and legs files for your my player by the way this is 2k23 I didn't um, bought anything for 2k24 because you know we're waiting for next gen and we're still getting current gen so i'm not gonna pay 2k anything for that i'm just sticking with 2k23 for now shout outs to all the modders who's updating this game up until now thank you so much guys we were able to play this game because of you updating the rosters and updating ratings for 2k23 is really good so Without further ado, let's jump to it. So you will see here, this is all the chess files that I edited for my player, of course. So this is the one that I'm using right now, the one that you can see here. So let's jump. Um, I already created a backup for this one. So even if I mess it up, we're, we're good to go. So this is the skin file right here or the chess file. As you can see, this is the tattoos that I just pasted here. So in order for you to invert or probably like rotate this chess file, all you got to do is press Control shift c and just navigate through this one probably like um, a total 100 no yeah i think 100 yep so go to 180 then you will edit the right i think the left side left side part of the arm so i already have like stock images here that i'm using so what you have to do is Let's go to the stock images. So I have all the stock images here. By the way, credits to all the creators of these designs. I downloaded these pictures in Pinterest. All you got to just go there. So if I wanted to put some tattoos on his left arms, then this is how you do it using this paint.net. So I have here a picture. So you can see this a galaxy or an astronaut. Mm. But uh, never mind, that's too big for the canvas. Um, let's see this one. Okay, there you go, like a samurai. So, as you can see, this is white, pure white. Right now, since you have added a layer, press F4. And go to blend mode and just darken it out. <laughs> so you can see right there. If you wanted to limit the opacity, just to blend onto the skin into the tattoo you got to do it but i don't because i want it to be like dark and colored so let's just press ok as you can see you still have the grid just put that in right here okay so that's going to be on the left arm or forearm if i'm not mistaken let's put it right here i think yep okay let's try okay i think this is gonna work yeah that's gonna end up the inside forearm if i'm not mistaken so if you wanted to add more let's see i can probably add this one right here just trying to check f4 dark and boom and just minimize it and probably put it here on the back of the elbow this is just a trial so if if you want to do it like in a better way just zoom and try to fill some of the spaces of the arms so let's try this one okay so i'll save this one let's try this up so right here i'll pick up the direct draw surface so that's dds you have to download that plugin once again all you gotta do is download it in google and install it on your program files 
for paint.net and you'll be good to go. So download or pick DDS in here, save and you have to flatten it out. Be sure to um, pick BC1 linear here because there's a lot of options but use BC1 linear DX or direct X, something like that. So perceptual is the key then. Okay, and flatten it out because you have, you have two layers. So let's see. This is my PNG file, of course. Let's try to check where is that tattoo. I think this is the one. Oh, by the way, I forgot. We need to reverse it back. So control shift Z and put this into zero. That's wrong. One more time. Oh, okay. So, so we can. Oh, I see. No, let's cancel. Let's let's reopen this one. Yep, then control shift C. You gotta reverse it. Boom. That's it. Then try to save it once again. Desktop, of course, it will replace the one that we have onto our desktop, and you're good to go. Just paste it on the PNG, load up the game. Let's see. There you go. So you can see there's a tattoo on his left arms already. So that's how you do it. That's how I. That's that's the method that I did on the right part of this PNG. So that's basically it. It's gonna be your your design. All you gotta do is just edit some chess files that you wanted to, and you can paste it directly using Paint.net and just save it. By the way, a bit of a a reminder. So on the chess color, some chess colors you will see here, like some BC1 commands. I'm not sure if I can show you that. I think I don't have that anymore. But you, all you gotta do is delete them and make sure you delete everything before this min command up until the binary command because the sometimes the chess files contains lots of information before the min something like that long so just delete those and save it you you'll be good to go that will avoid um the crash because i think that's the compatibility command for photoshop uh, chess files and for some other dds i don't know i actually don't know i'm not a photoshop guy so basically ju that's just it if you have any question please comment down below so that i can answer again this is ray nation you guys have a great day bye poof